hanging out in Paris on another beautiful day. Sunday here is a wonderful day. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. We made sure we uh, got this one up for you uh, nice and early. Actually, I think you're getting this one on Monday. We'll have to see when we get home. But Zach Sabaka won a championship this year out of Bruin and Speedway. Came darn close to it in the Sportsman Championship at Atlanta Legends. Along the way, he had 10 wins and 68 starts. Also ran a Devil's Bowl. Picked up a nice trophy there. Also won the Chevy Performance 75 at Super Dirt Week. Ran at Outlaw Speedway as well. Uh, man, I'll tell you, he has been racing since he was a kid. Sixth year in the Sportsman Division. Zach Sabaka is here with us for a season in review. First of all, how are we doing, man? Uh, doing pretty good. I see we have last year's chassis all stripped. It's ready to go to, uh, I was going to say to go to the sandblast or the, the powder coater, but that's actually you guys, right? Yeah. Um, we stripped it all apart, um, just checking out welds and uh, making sure nothing's completely broke off. Mm -hmm. uh, we had quite a few cracks on it. Um, it uh, oh, one right by the 2 by 4 there, too. Okay. Or yeah. 2 by 4 So is it, is it okay? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll end up racing it next year. Okay. Um, put it back together for South Carolina. Okay, so how was the season overall for you? I would imagine it's pretty good, right? Or was it? You tell me. I would have to say that's been my best year so far. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. By the way, we want to thank all of our good friends over at Supergen Products. They had a great deal here. And uh, and actually, Zach knows Paul Cole over at Supergen with the Champion Generators. Special deals on 9,000 generators, 4,200 pressure washers. Mention you saw this interview with Zach or any of the stuff that we do here on our channel, and they will give you a special deal you can't even get even if you know Paul. So make sure that you do that and get on over there and check him out. All right, he's had the questions beforehand, at least two of them. Are you ready for the season in review? Best yep. night of the season. You got 10 wins that you could choose from, or was it maybe something else that happened that was your best night of 2021? Um, it's it's a pretty good toss-up between the Vermont 200 and Super Dirt Week between my best nights. Um, the Vermont one paid uh, a little more, but the, Super Dirt Week, Super Dirt Week, right? That's what the factor is. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Vermont, that was a lot of laps. Um, there was a lot of work put into doing that. Um, 200 laps, that's, that's a lot of laps. Um, and there were some modified guys in that field yep. too, right? So that's another reason that made that special. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe uh, only three of us in the top ten were actual sportsman guys. Oh, really? So that's um, quite an accomplishment, not just to be in the top ten, but to win. Yeah, and they were guys who raced around here, actually. Okay. Um, but Super Dirt Week, Super Dirt Week, and that's got to be special too, right? <laughs> yeah, Super Dirt Week, that's, I mean, that's, where you get known mm -hmm. more. Um, that's true. Good point. That's not as many laps, but they obviously didn't pay as sure. good, but that's there's a lot of people there. Yeah, and, and then if you look at the upper left, you'll see the Chevy Performance 75 trophy over his shoulder back there as well. That's why I chose this place right here. All right, the next question, I always hate to ask this one, but what was the worst night and what happened to make it the worst night of the year? Um, we only had probably one bad night. And that was at the Brewerton Series race. Mm -hmm. um, what happened? Got into the wall, um, coming out for a restart. That ripped the whole right side of the car off. Um, but that's probably our only problem we've had. Was it just body work? Or I see we have some welding on. The, what do they call the pieces that the bars go into? Um, the support pieces right here. Um, that's our short rod mount. Okay. It was that part of it or no? Um, yeah, that, that, was that broke. Um, it actually, the uh, slugs on top, that bottom hole, oh, you can mm -hmm. see it's not yellow anymore. That got egged out. Um, and then uh, that... Uh, position the camera so you can see. <laughs> right there, he's talking about, right there. So, okay. All right, so that was the worst night, I guess. Depending on some years, that the worst night would have been worse than that, right? Um, I've had... Many bad nights throughout the years, um, but so far this year, that was that was probably it. Superstitious at all? Things you like to do in a certain way? Things you don't do? Things like that? Um, pretty much. Um, I do everything the same every week by between washing the car and grease and oh, everything. So even during the week, yeah, our routine has to be the same. Yeah. Okay. How it's, about on race day? Um, I I go to the store get. The ice and the drinks, and uh, that's that's pretty much the only thing I really do. Okay. That's the same. Um, well, we do have kind of green on the car. It's kind of a yellow green, so. Yeah, it's, uh, Dan kind of made it try to match our powder because it's not a, uh, it's not a true fluorescent yellow mm -hmm. on our powder coat. Um, 
So Dan Gill from Atomic, he uh, did the best he could with the vinyl trying to match it. Okay. Uh, do you eat on race day? Or do you race hungry? No, I race hungry. Okay. And I'm not Your herbs even... are... Because, I mean, you've been doing this since you were five years old. and actually practiced it in four and a half. So, I guess I'm surprised you're still nervous. Um, I don't even know if it's nervous. I just think going in that many circles a lot of times... You know, like eating before you get on a roller coaster almost, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so there's my follow-up then. So, afterwards, you've got to be just ready to gnaw on the seats. What Do you have a standard after the race meal that you like to get? Um, it almost depends on how we do that night. Okay, let's say it's a good night. You win. If it's a good night, I'm starving. Okay. Um, I'm, whatever's on the way home. Okay, we'll, so it's no particular no. place in general. Okay. How about a bad night like that one you told me about where we wrecked it? We know we got a lot of work waiting for us when we get home. Um, I'm almost sick to my stomach and can't eat anything. So you can't eat for um, a different reason then. Yeah. <laughs> Still related to the stomach, but different uh, at that point. So do you talk to yourself in the car? And if so, what do you say? Um... I try not to talk to myself. It's a G-rated channel. I try not to tr- talk to myself. Um, it makes me think too much. Well, what I'm about, let's there. say you got a bad start. Do you, do you pep talk yourself back to getting back where you were or something like that? Come on, go get them, Zach, something. Sometimes, I guess, under yellow. Okay. Um, but under green, I try to be as focused as I can. Right, um, how about the situation where you actually make a mistake? What do you um, tell yourself then? Yeah, that, that has some... Words that okay, we can't, can't say, say that one. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, when you get a rain out, obviously it's an unexpected rain out. Let's say it's 5 o'clock, you're, you're just getting ready to leave, and oh, they rained out. What do you do with your extra free time um, you got it? Something you like to do on a rain out that you don't normally get to do on a weekend? I'm pretty much normally we, uh, we're here every night. So you just uh, find some work to on do. It. We either work on the car or go home, go to bed. Um, mm-hmm. Be ready for the next night. Okay. Um, Obviously, race drivers, we have a reputation of being kind of rough and tumble, you know, real macho guys and things like that. Is there something you do to relax during the week that maybe somebody might be surprised about? Like there was a friend of mine yesterday who actually told me he takes bubble baths, and I was a little surprised about that. I don't think you may go that far, but is there something people might be surprised that you do to relax? Um, I, I don't take bubble baths. Um <laughs> Um, I'm glad to hear that. Sorry, Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Video games. Uh, I play a lot of iRacing. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually probably not once a week, but try to a couple times a month go get massages and okay. make sure everything's still right for me okay all right and a lot of people do that and they have those theraguns and stuff that you use on your muscles because i would think sometimes you cramp up in there a little bit don't you oh my legs cramp up Mm -hmm. a lot in there so you drink a lot of water on race days because i was always told you're supposed to do that yeah a lot of water and red bull Pretty much. Oh, water, red bull. Good combination right there. So next thing, I know I know we're working on our little pit bike over here, but what's the next thing we gotta do in the shop? Like when I when I leave here outside of the pit bike, what's the next racing related thing we're gonna do? Well, uh I actually need to do one more weld on this car. Um by the motor mount mm-hmm. um that we just kinda noticed earlier this morning. Okay. Um and then probably tomorrow after work. Probably bring it down to Syracuse, and we burn the powder coat off it. Um, then we bring it back here, sandblast it, um, spray it, powder coat it, um, then start putting it back together. There you go. Well, hey, we got another one coming up. We're going to do one right after this that I'm going to save. I'm going to put in the can. You won't believe uh, how good he was in the quarter midgets as a kid. Remember the racer special out at Supergen Products, 9,000 generator, special low price, 4,200 pressure washer. Talk to the guys up front. They'll tell you all about it. Hit the blue E. Subscribe. You'll every time we're talking to somebody cool. Zach, good job, man. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.